you've talked about this. I think it was on Passion for Craft about that idea of like getting stuck in a rut, you know, and you're like, I can only do baseboards for so long before I get just just one more baseboard type of thing. So <laughs> I would do like the rut thing. If, if there's a guy right now who's like, yeah, I've been in it and maybe I'm, I'm just camped out in mediocre land. Like I'm kind of doing the same thing over and over. It's not interesting or exciting to me, but it pays the bills. Um, what, what would you say to that guy to, to help him break out of the rut and refine his passion? It would be a similar answer to the one of getting out of the comfort zone. Because when I first, when I was in that rut, I don't even know if I was really there till I met these higher end guys who showed me the higher calling. And I remember um, when the operations manager for Whole Homes, Bobby, reached out to me. He said, hey, you know, um, I saw your videos on YouTube and, you know, we're always looking for good carpenters. And I, I told him, like, I've seen you guys stuff before and I don't think I don't think I'm ready for it. It's just too high end. He's like, no, no, no. You can just come look at it. And like he kind of talked me into it. And I'm so glad he did because I kind of had this idea of like, I'm not ready yet, but I was ready. So. I think if he would have called me five years before, I don't think I would have been ready. Um, but I think to answer it is just if you're in a rut, um, you're doing basic things like how I was, you need to still perfect those basic things, get as good as you can at them with a system, make sure they're like absolutely perfect. And then when you get the call or you reach out to someone to network to maybe move up, uh, you know, another level, you know what you're doing. Cause the last thing I would want is for them. Like we did this big historical house in town here. It was the first job I did with them. And I told them straight up, I was like, look, if you see us doing something, that's not to your standards. Or if I told the project manager, I told uh, Brent hole, I told the operations manager, if you see us doing something that is not to your standards, let me know. I'll stop doing it and I'll do it the right way. Or uh, uh, the other thing I said is if if we're not making the cut, just let me know, I'll pack up my stuff and we can leave, we can still be friends. And I think just having that humility, which generally I felt inside of me, like I will still leave and still be friends if we're not making the cut here. Like there's no hard feelings. And maybe when in a few years when we're ready, we can try again. And they were like, okay, you know, sounds good. So we, I just, all that time prepared me for this higher end stuff. And before I knew it, it was a, it was just another job. I was like sitting in front, in front of this really nice house. And I'm like, oh man, what am I doing? Or should I just drive off, you know? <laughs> but I went in and it just became another job. Like, oh, we're cutting this molding. And this time this molding is really expensive, but I'm still stretching the tape measure out over it, marking it with the pencil as the same as the cheap, you know, but I just had all that training to, to be able to be at this level now. And I still think there's a long way to go. You know, I don't want to come off as like, well, now I've arrived and I'm at this high level. Um, I've got, a, I mean, there's still another lifetime of stuff to learn. It's crazy.